Tearing up the cinemas for Chinese New Year in 2022, Watergate Bridge is the sequel to the smash hit and highest grossing Chinese film of all time, Battle at Lake Changjin. Following on from the first movie, virtually the entire cast are in the sequel. And the cast is very impressive. But who are they? And where have you probably seen them before? Let's meet the cast of Watergate Bridge, The Battle at Lake Changjin 2. Welcome to Asian Film Fans. Without a doubt, the biggest name in the film is this guy, Wu Jing. Born in April 1974 in Beijing, Wu Jing is a trained wushu martial artist who was discovered in 1995 by popular Hong Kong director Yen Wu Ping, who cast him as the lead in Tai Chi 2, where he was given the name Jackie Wu. He stayed in Hong Kong for about a decade, working with actors like Louis Ku, Donnie Yen, Sammo Hung, Simon Yam, and directors like Choi Hark, Wilson Yip, and Benny Chan. From Triad Wars to Zoo Warriors, Killzone to Invisible Target, and The Horrible City Under Siege, it was 2015 when his career really took off in the mainland, when he wrote, directed, and starred in the blockbuster hit Wolf Warrior. Two years later, he followed it up with part two, which was the highest grossing Chinese film of all time until Battle at Lake Changjin. And then in 2019, he starred in both the sci-fi smash hit The Wandering Earth and true story The Climbers. While in 2020, he took the lead in The Sacrifice. Wu Jing is hot property in China and very well loved. You know who else is well loved? His co-star Jackson Yi. Born in November 2000 in Hunan, Jackson started his career as a singer and dancer, joining the boy band TF Boys. He was featured in a handful of TV series from 2016 to 2019, until he got his big cinematic break in the utterly brilliant Derek Sang drama film Better Days, alongside Chinese screen darling Dong Yu Zhao. His performance earned him the Best Newcomer Award at the Asian Film Awards in 2020, and since then he's released a fairly steady stream of hits, including A Little Red Flower, Chinese Doctors, and Nice View. While the film Hero Slash Her Story should be released in 2022, a strong lineup, his only misstep was the 2020 long delayed release of the fantasy animation film Lord 2. Arguably the third biggest name in this film, which would probably annoy him, is Jun Hung Yu. In the film, he plays historical figure Son Shi Lun and plays him well. Sharing the same birthday as myself, but from 1964, Han Yu has an impressive list of action thrillers to his name. His first role was in the TV series Legend of the Monkey King from 1995, but his movie work picked up in the early 2000s, with roles in the comedy drama Cell Phone, the 2009 Hong Kong co-production Bodyguards and Assassins with Donnie Yen and Fun Bing Bing, and again in 2013 in another Donnie Yen hit Special ID. While 2015 was an impressive year, with roles in the excellent Mr. Six and the thrilling Operation Mekong, with more action roles in Operation Red Sea, playing the brave Captain Lu Changjian from the blockbuster hit The Captain, starring alongside Jackson Yi in Chinese Doctors, and finishing off 2021 with the main role of Lao Hong in the rather average film Railway Heroes. Now to the faces you'll know, but the names you don't. Ya Wen Ju, born April 1984, has snuck up on film lovers in the last couple of years. Starting his career in TV, he featured alongside Zhang Hung Yu in both 2019's The Captain and 2021's The Chinese Doctors, while also working with Zhang Yimou in a starring role in his 2021 spy thriller Cliff Walkers. For TV lovers though, if you know the series Da Meng Feng Hua, starring Tang Wei, then you'll know that not only was he a major part of this, but he also won many, many awards for the role. This guy has one of those faces you'll definitely know. Hu Jun, born in March 1968, has a long and varied career of hits in both Hong Kong and China. Some might recognize him from the 2003 sequel Infernal Affairs 2. Others might know him from his monster role as Zhao Yun from John Woo's epic Red Cliff. Or maybe you can recognize him from Hong Kong action films Firestorm and As the Light Goes Out. But if you're trying to think where you've seen him recently, well that would be as Bo Yan in the 2021 fantasy movie The Curse of Toronto with Dylan Sprouse, Wen Zheng and Xiao Tongguan. 
And how about this guy? Yi Hong Duan, born in May 1973. He's yet another actor with another impressive list of movies to his name. From featuring in Lu Ye's controversial 2006 movie Summer Palace, the brilliant 2009 movie The Message, which also featured Jun Hong Yu, or the outstanding 2017 action thriller Explosion, where he starred as an explosives expert who needs to clear his name of wrongful murder. It's his recent role in 2021's Lesti Chen thriller Home Sweet Home, where you might recognize him from, where he starred alongside Aaron Kwok and Zifeng Zhang. And finally, Li Geng. Born in November 1974, his career spans 30 years and includes a string of TV series and movies, including a strange 2013 monster film called Legendary, starring Scott Atkins and Dolph Lundgren, a role in the 2013 horror hit Bunshin Saba 2, 2017's smash horror hit The House That Never Dies 2, 2017's award-winning drama Bitter Flowers, a small part in the patriotic historical drama My People, My Country, and landing two big roles in 2021, including the true story of the creation of the Communist Party, 1921, and In Chinese Doctors, the third actor from this film to be in that movie. A few lesser-known actors include Elvis Hahn, who was also in 1921, My People, My Country, and the upcoming Oxidy Pang drama Flashover alongside Wan Chen Yen from The 800. While finally, Chen Jerry Lee, who's also been very busy in the last three years, with parts in the comedy movie My People, My Homeland, 1921, Chinese Doctors, and The 800. And to wrap it up, let's talk about the directors. While Choi Hark is headlined as the main director, Kage Chen and Dante Lam are uncredited following up from the trio's efforts from part one. Choi Hark is a well-known and well-loved Chinese director who's actually born in Vietnam back in 1950. He's responsible for more movies than we could mention, so let's just tell you the big ones. A Better Tomorrow 3. Once Upon a Time in China 1, 2, 3 and 5. Twin Dragons. Van Damme Movies Double Team and Knock Off. Zoo Warriors, The Taking of Tiger Mountain, and so much more. Kage Chen, born in Beijing in 1952, was responsible for some Chinese classics, including Farewell My Concubine, The Emperor and the Assassin, American film Killing Me Softly, Legend of Demon Cat, and would you believe, the Duran Duran music video for the song Do You Believe in Shame from 1989. How's that for something unique? And what about Dante Lam? Born on the 1st of July 1965, Dante Lam could be described as the Chinese version of Michael Bay. He loves his blockbusters and he loves his explosions. From movies like The Viral Factor, The Rescue, and the two operation movies Red Sea and Mekong, and of course, one of his first films, the Hong Kong schlocky action film Beast Cops. Oh yeah. We hope this video has made you more familiar with the cast of the blockbuster hit Watergate Bridge. Do you know who these guys are? And what are some of their favorite movies of yours? Thank you for watching this video. Please press the like button if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.